Hi guys, this is Gucci Airlines. This is my first screencast. It is about how to install Mac OS 8.1 for the uh, Sheep Shaver uh, emulation on Mac OS 10. Uh, as far as I know, it'll only work up to Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard because uh, Mac OS 10.7 Lion, which is not out now but may well be out or, uh, when you're watching this. Uh, it doesn't support the Rosetta software, so the um, so PowerPC binaries will not work. And I believe this is a PowerPC binary, this particular program, uh, Sheep Shaver. So uh, please don't attempt this on a machine running Lion. Uh, apart from that, uh, enjoy. Hope it helps some of you some of you guys trying to get. Uh, Mac OS, uh, classic Mac OS on an Intel uh, Mac. Enjoy. Uh, hi guys, this is Guji Airlines with my first uh, screencast. This uh, particular screencast is on how to install Mac OS 8.1 uh, for the Sheep Shaver emulator. Uh, here we can see we've got to create a blank disk image to install. Uh, Mac OS 8.1 onto uh, for Sheep Shaver. We've got to put it into Mac OS extended format uh, because uh, that's the only format that um, Mac OS 8.1 seems to recognize and it seems like for the initialization of the disk image into Mac OS standard which is what it's got to be ultimately to install the operating system on. This is all fairly straightforward. I think if you've ever used Disk Utility before, you can see it's uh, done that. Now I've got to go into the Sheep Shaver, um, the SS Setup uh, GUI GUI to um, Add the disk image. Um, you can just see if I'm trying to find that this uh, interface is not the greatest, especially with the MacBook Pro um, trackpad. It doesn't seem to work very well with that. So you can see it's booting from the CD ROM and I already do have the Mac OS 8.1 CD-ROM in the uh, disk drive. Now we're actually going into the uh, Sheep Shaver emulator itself. And here's the classic Mac OS uh, uh, starting up screen. takes a little bit to get into it because it's booting off a CD and not off a hard drive. You can see that it's uh, it's got all the CDs in the background because it's actually starting from the CD. It's got to load all the extensions up. See Mac OS 8.1. Now here's the um, initialization. We just got to give it a name. It's in Mac OS standard format and it's 400 and something megabytes. Click continue. Okay, so now we're actually going to install Mac OS 8.1 by clicking the install Mac OS 8.1 icon. Uh, and the installer starts with the four steps required to install Mac OS 8. Um, just have a look at them. So I've selected the destination disk. It only needs 130 odd megabytes to install. Uh, the software license agreement. And here's where we get to customize and actually tell it what we're going to install. We're going to install pretty much everything.
just checking the disk image, making sure there's no errors in installing the latest drivers. Welcome to Mac OS 8. Custom install we're gonna choose. So we get to talk about exactly what we want to install. Things like assistance, compatibility, mobility, multimedia. You'll be able to see networking and connectivity. Printing things. Of course, I don't really need the printing thing and uh, the printing drivers because this is uh, not going to be used to print anything. This is just going to, personally, this is just going to be used to run some old software. But if you do need to print things off for whatever reason using the MLA, uh, you probably do need to install that. Now this process takes about 20 minutes and uh, we'll finish now. We'll, so now the emulator is booting for the first time into Mac OS uh, 8.1. You do need to uh, restart the emulator and get back into Shapeshaver. You don't need to get into SS Setup uh, GUI. Now it's just rebuilding the desktop file and now we have Mac OS 8.1 one installed I'll just uh, build the desktop file here and because I'm on a laptop it comes up with a message now we're just going through the setup assistant put your name in Uh, what time it is and what location in the world you're in. No, I cannot really complete this assistant because uh, the internet part doesn't really work. So this uh, setup assistant's pretty much useless in uh, our situation here. But yeah, that's uh, Mac OS 8.1 uh, installed on Shapeshaver emulation software for Mac OS 10 uh, up to, I believe, 10.7 Lion, which as I'm recording is not out yet, but it may well be out when you're watching this. It, I don't believe it will work on 10.7 line because it doesn't have Rosetta software. Uh, it's not compatible at all with uh, PowerPC binaries. So it just won't work. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just going through here the Mac OS Info Center. Just uh, testing making sure it doesn't crash. Uh, it's not brilliantly stable, this thing from experience, but um, it's stable enough. It, if you don't push it too hard or if you don't um, do too many weird things, it should be all right. But yeah, thanks for watching. And that was my first, this is my first uh, screencast. This is Guji Airlines signing off.